Green flags out in the air, and the 74 car getting a jump over the six on the outside. Here comes Javon Thompson on the inside. Possibly no, not going to happen. Tim Trowbridge does survive turn one as now Javon Thompson and the six car, George Oaks, are battling it, battling it out going into turn three. As we are still side by side, Javon Thompson actually going to clear George Oaks here off the corner. We're going to complete lap one. Tim Trowbridge leads that lap. As now George Oaks is looking to go to the inside. And he can't, though, because Brad Hump Dane's there to the inside of him. This is wild. We're still side by side here for P3 down the back. Brad Haldane now going into turn three, side by side with the six car. He's trying to make that position done and over with as he does off of turn four. Brad Haldane now up into the podium position, maybe a little crossover move by George Oaks. It's not going to happen. Going through turn one and off of turn two, Brad takes control of that position. And your top three, the 74, the 93, and the 39. Brad Haldane now coming under attack by the six car. George Oaks once again. He hasn't been able to get back to the rear bumper of the 93 throughout this run, but the six car is surely all over the rear bumper of him. Now, coming off of turn two, a little bit of looseness that we saw from the six car. Losing a little bit of time to Brad Haldane there, but he gains it all back through three and four. That's Steven down on the bottom of your screen. He's going a couple laps down here, plus six laps down right now. He had a little bit of an incident at the beginning of this race that we did not get to catch on stream. Maybe This 93 car is putting down some lap times right now. He was not quicker that time by than Tim Trowbridge, but the last two laps he was. Oh, he got a lot of apron there. That's going to allow Brad Haldane to get a great run on him here. He's going to send it in right behind Javon Thompson here through three and four. Oh, Javon Thompson got a little tight off the corner. He's a little sideways, or tight center, loose off the corner. Brad Haldane's going to draw right up to his bumper. Maybe give him a little bit of bumper business here in a one and two. He's looking to the inside. Does he make a move, Javon, sideways again? Here comes Brad Haldane looking to the inside. Not going to happen this time by the 39. Trying to make something happen going into turn three. The 93 putting on a lot of defensive moves now. And going into turn one, Brad Haldane looking for that opportunity once again. It looks like he might be getting underneath him here off the exit of two. He does. He's underneath the 93 of Javon Thompson. Going into turn three now. We're side by side racing. Brad Haldane trying to take control of that P2 position. Javon Thompson gets loose on the top side. Going into turn one now. Brad Haldane takes over P2. Absolutely, they can. Hey, look at this. This battle's heating right back up here. Javon Thompson pulling faster lap times than Brad Haldane. This is going to get good here real quick, real soon. Uh, the fastest car on track currently, George Oaks in that six car. Javon Thompson gets sideways off of turn four. He saves it, though. George Oaks goes by him. Tim Henderson is going to go by him. That puts Javon Thompson all the way back down to P5. That is not what he needed. Bates trying everything he can to get back to the rear bumper of that 72, trying to make something happen here. He gets real loose, really loose off of turn two there. And he's going to lose a lot of time as he tries to dive it back into turn three. He overcooks the corner, and he does the same thing once again there. Lots of lost time there. Sean Harrell now putting the pressure on Matt Yost. For P6, these guys are heating it up. Yeah, as they are battling here, as they've kind of gapped Bates back there in the 19 car by a couple car lengths. But Sean Harrell is really using that inside line to his advantage. Really able to put the pressure here to Matt Yost. Maybe force him into a mistake. Maybe use a little bit of that bumper business in the center of the turn. He's about a half a car length back, chasing him down the back stretch. Matt Yost running his line, not really making a mistake. Kind of hugging that white line all the way around. Oh, and he loses the bottom a little bit there. Sam Har or Sean Harrell was, had a chance. Wasn't able to close in just enough to make a move here into turn one. Now looking to the outside of the number 70. It's not going to happen this time around in turns one and two. But he's going to get a great run down the back straightaway. All over the rear bumper now. That 72 is on the 70. Going through three and four now. These guys hugging the bottom of the racetrack. Trying to find as much speed, much cornering, cornering capacity as they can. Now going into turn one. These guys still playing really hard. To try and keep this P6 position that Matt Yost has. We'll see if Sean Harrell now can do anything through three and four. It's not going to look like it's going to be much here. Tim Trowbridge, though, he's pulling up to the rear of this pack. You see Patrick Jabronski there. Tim Trowbridge coming out of turn four just then. As the 72 continues to pound on the rear bumper of this 70 car. 
He's got to make something happen here, though. We're running out of laps. we got about 28 laps to go right now. And he's currently two seconds behind his teammate, Trowbridge. Can he get there? Did he save enough tires to make a late race charge to win this race? It's a possibility. Last time by, though, Brad Haldane pulled a 20.48. Tim Trowbridge at 20.33. So, look, these guys are going side by side in front of Brad Haldane. Oh, they get a little loose. Patrick Jabronski does. But Brad Haldane goes on the inside. He makes that pass. As now he's going to try to work over Zach Bates. Zach Bates showing lots of sportsmanship here. Letting Brad Haldane go by. As he gets into the wall, too. Brad Haldane, though, got clear of the... Of the lap cars now, as now Georgia Oaks is facing the same thing Brad just did. Oh, that got tight there. I was wondering where George Oaks was going to be able to take that run. Zach Bates got into the wall back there on the front stretch. I didn't know if they were going to have enough room to fit everybody down the front stretch. As now George Oaks is going to have to go on the defensive of his teammate. Tim Henderson's looking to the outside. Oh, my goodness. He just sent it in there to Tim Henderson. You saw the back end almost come around on him. He's going to continue to chase him here down the back stretch as we got Dabrowski up in front of these guys. Could that come into play? Could that hamper George Oaks' opportunity to hold on to P3? Or would that be the window that Tim Henderson needs to jump into that podium position? As Javon's through the grass right now here on lap 57. His race is turning sour. Wanted as these two teammates continue to duke it out. George Oaks, Tim Henderson going through turn one and on the exit of turn two now. The 20 car, Tim Henderson. He's side by side now with the six car of his teammate, George Oaks. Tim Henderson, he's going to capitalize on the six car going real wide in turn one and two. Tim Henderson is promoted to P3 at the moment. Yeah, that was a great job there by Matt Yost not to lose any time, but Tim Trubber just crossed the line for the Digga Boys. Ten to go here at Stafford. He is on a mission. He's already put three seconds on his teammate of Brad Haldane. He is doing a phenomenal job. His tires don't seem to be wearing out. Still running very good lap times as he's going to get to the line this time for nine to go as he sees Javon Thompson fifth place right in front of him. Brad Haldane is cutting eight tenths of a second out of this lead over the last four laps i've been watching the lap times he's been running quicker and the gap is shrinking we have five laps to go and he's got this thing down to 2.2 seconds is the 74 car fading does brad Haldane have enough time to make a late race charge at his teammate tim trowbridge this might get good here let's see what tim does this time by a 20.46 brad a 20.27 so two tenths every lap it's not going to be enough Maybe a mistake that we might see out of this 74 car. And Brad can capitalize on it. I don't know. That's Javon Thompson right there in P5 in front of Tim. He's still got to ride it He's out closing. for three more laps. He is closing. He's closing big time here. Tim, a 20.444. And Brad, a 20.224. That's another two tenths off the lap. Brad Haldane is reeling it, man. He's got it down to a 1.7 seconds, 1.6. And Trowbridge has Javon in front of him. And that car is really quick. It's going to be tough to pass. We got two laps to go. Tim Trowbridge is losing a lot of time here to Brad Haldane. Oh, and now Javon's sideways in front of your leader. This could slow down Tim Trowbridge. It's down to a second and a half. We're going down the back stretch. We're coming to get the white flag this time. Oh, Javon's oh, around. Save Look for the leader. leader. He no, saves it. Brad Haldane avoids. Crushes Crushes it now. Now. That's the race. Right Right there, Tim Trowbridge. Goodness B. Tim Trowbridge is your winner. We do not do overtime here with the Nexus National Tour. Tim, this is Thomas and Jay in the booth. You got a copy? Yes, I do. Well, you come out here tonight. You dominate practice. You get pole position. You lead every lap, and you win the race. What a dominant performance you put on a clinic. Were you or were you not concerned of how fast Brad was coming up behind you? Uh, I think I uh, I gave you my my warning in the <laughs> post qualifying. I said it was it was going to be about lap sixty five. Uh, let's just say I had you push for the first two or three laps to get a gap, and I saved for about seventy laps. And at seventy five, it just fell off a cliff. Wow! I knew it, like seventy two to seventy five ish, like. I don't know if you could see on the broadcast, but she was getting nice and loose out of four, and I was really having to check up, really, really slowing the pace down. 
luckily I built a nice gap of like what two and a half, three seconds to Brad, and I knew I needed it, and he was coming quick. Do you think that Brad could have had anything for you if that caution didn't come out at the end there? Um, I think we had enough of a gap at the end. If we had green-white checkers, I don't think I had it. If we had five more laps, I don't think I had it. I think we we played the cards just right. There you have it, a very confident driver of that number 74 machine. Tim, one more question here. What was going through your head when you saw the 93 spinning right in front of you in turns three and four? Uh, flashbacks to way too many races that something crazy like that happens. <laughs> Honestly, the first thought in my head was, well, shoot, if we have green-white checkers, I'm screwed. <laughs> Why? You had some tires in there uh, in the pits. Yeah, the green white checker. I don't know if you're coming down pit lane, because all it takes is two guys to stay out, and you're you don't have enough. Mm. Passing. I don't think I. Pa passing yeah, yeah, is, is hard. too hard, huh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and those those old tires. You probably have to take the gamble in pit, but all it takes is, like I said, a few guys staying out. It's not gonna matter. Too short. Well, there you have it. A little bit of concern, possibly, if we did have green, white checkers. But nonetheless, working out for Tim Trowbridge tonight. Tim, who do you have to thank for your race win tonight? Well, first off, as I try to always say, you guys up in the booth do one heck of a job. So thank you. Always making us look good. Uh, unfortunately, I, I felt like it kind of may have been a snooze fest. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to watch the, the broadcast back. Never. Sounded like there's a lot of good racing, but... I know you guys make us look good no matter what. Uh, thank the Nexus guys. Thank you all for putting on such a really fun racing series and uh, always letting us do this. Thanks to the Imperial Motorsports boys, always giving us fast cars, showing off uh, as much as we can. And thank the, uh, the family here at home. Let me do this crazy stuff all the time. Absolutely. Thank you for those kind words, Tim. Hey, thanks for coming out once again here, giving us some great content. And uh, congratulations on your race win. And we hope to see you in the next one. Perfect. Thank you, guys.